Hi, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for another segment of Women Entrepreneur in the Central Valley, Self-Made Women. Um, today, I have my friend Aldiva Rubacava. I'm sorry, I totally, I can't say that name. <laughs> you actually say it better than me. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, she is a self-made woman. She's her own boss. She owns Re uh, Recovery Credit Repair. Um, in Visalia, and I believe you also have one in Fresno, right, Aldiva? We do in the River Park area, right behind Sam's Club. Oh, you know what? You're you're right next to me. So <laughs> I've only really been yes, I'm in <laughs> River Park too, and it's so funny. I've only gone to your uh, Visalia office. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Anyways, but Aldiva, um, first of all, I want to thank you for for being here and. Uh, you're giving us your time. I know right now we're going through a pandemic crisis. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to thank you for your time and willing to, you know, provide information to some of the people that might be worried right now. But can you please like just introduce yourself for just uh, like two minutes? Tell us who you are, what you guys do, um, how people can reach you. And then um, and then we'll just start and then we'll get into it. Sure. Hi, everyone. So my name is Allie with Recovery Credit Repair. We are your credit score improvement specialists. We are local. We're in Fresno and in Visalia. Unfortunately, right now during these times, our doors are closed to the public, but we are still working in the office. We're still helping clients improve their scores every day. We're just not allowing clients to come in to see us but we are doing phone consultations and we are doing meetings via Zoom. Um, some of the things that make us different is we do work on your credit reports every 30 days faithfully. We do see improvements. We celebrate your successes with you and we also educate you on how credit works. So that's been one of our strengths. Uh, most of our power partners are mortgage loan officers and realtors. So if you're looking to buy a home, we know what the underwriters are looking for when it comes to your credit, so we can help get your scores there. If you're looking to buy a car or even refinance your house, that's what we specialize in. So no question is a them question. We love to help everyone out. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been doing uh, credit repair and how long have you had your two? Because you have two offices and I know before you had this business, you used to be a contractor, which is like so cool and so amazing. Yes. Um, and I and I know you give me a lot of feedback, so thank you for that. Yeah, so um, we've been in business, it's actually gonna be five years this year. November 26th will be our fifth year. <laughs> yes, yes, we started off with one employee and now we're up to 12. So uh, we, we've done really well for ourselves and Again, it's all thanks to all of you out there for entrusting us. Um, and as Vivian did say, I was a licensed contractor for 15 years in the Bay Area, specialized in kitchen and bath remodels. So Vivian and I have a lot in common. Yep. <laughs> um, so Aldiva, I know uh, I, the reason why I wanted to talk to you is because obviously with what's going on right now, there's a lot of fear. Um, and I think people are getting information from either Google, their friends and not, uh, credible resources and you as a credit repair person and also too, cause you used to do construction, um, this whole entire, you know, when 2008, unfortunately when the house market crashed and I know I was, um, a part, I mean, I was, I was doing construction at that time still too, uh, people lost their homes uh people are probably even now still trying to repair their credit i mean it's it was crazy in 2008 and i think people right now are really afraid of the recession um what what advice can you give uh your clients or anybody that's watching this that maybe think well i'm not going to pay my bills um and so i don't know I'll, I'll let you explain a little bit more about that but i think there's a lot of fear um and, and, and really just not getting the proper education and proper um, information. Right. And I agree with you 100%. I've been hearing a lot of people 
giving horrible advice out there. The number one thing I hear is don't pay your rent. <laughs> don't pay your, don't pay your mortgage. Well, let me tell you about that. If you don't pay your mortgage, the minute you hit that 31st day late, it will ding your scores 150 to 200 points wow. in one month. Okay. Wow. Also, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, I know it's a big hit. You might yeah. as well file BK because that's how many points you're going to get anyways. Wow. Um, they're also your rent. A lot of these rental property agencies, they do report your rents to your credit report. So that could be another hit as well. So our advice is, is reach out to your creditors. Some of you have credit cards that you're paying insurance on and you don't even realize it. And it might be like two cents for every hundred dollars that you owe on that card. Well, that's there for a reason for times like this, for you to pick up the phone and say, hey, I lost my job. Hey, I got laid off, whatever happened. And they will make that payment for you. Um, not everyone has those plans in place, but it's out there. Everyone knows that COVID-19 is affecting all of us right now. We need to be proactive and not reactive. So don't wait until the last second when you're now three months behind in a deeper hole, can't get out of debt. Try to reach out to your creditors now and see what they're offering. They might not offer you anything, okay? But in my in my world, I always say that if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Mm -hmm. So you might as well ask because they might have something in place for you. I've heard of some mortgage um, companies putting your payment at the end of the loan and there's some forbearance programs out there. So please don't be afraid to ask. Yes, you are going to be on a longer hold time right now. Unfortunately, the call volumes are ridiculous. So you just have to have that little P word, which is patience yeah. and be on the phone, Yeah, but it might pay off in the end for you. Okay. Yeah. That's really good advice. Cause I mean, I, I just think people are not getting the right information. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, and I mean, unfortunately, a lot of, a lot of people are losing their jobs. I know it's already affected my business. We do uh, remodels, kitchen and bath remodels, and we just had to let go of some of them because unfortunately we had clients that were older and who had underlying um, conditions. So we, we just kind of, we couldn't, we had to, you know, um, we, we just had to let those projects go. Um, mm -hmm. And, um, but how had it, has it affected your business? Has it affected you in any way? You know, the only thing that it's really affected us in is, um, a lot of clients are, were of course in the beginning, no calling, no showing, they would make appointments and not show up. Um, but now that they realize that they can call us and that we're still here and we're still helping them, that's been the best thing we could have done. Um, we're not working remotely. We are working in the office, um, but again, our team is very, all of us are working home, working home. We're not really going out or going anywhere. So it's been helping us continue to service our clients the best way possible. And we haven't had to cut back any hours or anything. We're still working full stream ahead. Yeah. Um, and also, I'd like to point out, I'm kind of hoping, and I'm just being a little brat right now, I'm kind of hoping that some of these uh, credit bureaus are going to shut down or lay off some people just because, so by law, whenever we dispute anything, they have 30 days to validate the debt. Well, if there's no one in the office validating the debt and those 30 days exceed, guess what? Those items have to come off your credit report. So I'm hoping that this will uh, work out in our favor and in your favor as well. Mm, to help our credit, our credit, um, uh, go up. I know exactly. I was talking to my friend Lupe, she's a realtor. Um, and, uh, she was, she was actually saying that some people, same thing. It's fear really. Um, because obviously, you know, we don't know some people are losing their jobs, mm -hmm. um, left and right. It's, it's, it's a scary time. It and, and, um, people are afraid to buy a house. But with, with what you're telling people is if they're, and we, and we suggested that if you're going to buy a house, buy it now when you still have good credit, would you agree with that? 
um, instead of waiting until the house market goes down and then maybe they don't have a job. Maybe the, yeah, the house market might go down, but you may not have a job or you may not have good credit. What would, you, exactly. what would be your advice? I mean, I don't know. I know that's a little bit out of your, out of your expertise, but it, it, again, it goes back to the credit. So here's something that a lot of people don't realize. You don't have to have perfect credit to buy a house. That's a myth. Okay. You can have blemishes on your credit. You need to have the right scores. Now, the scores that you're looking at on Credit Karma is based on a Vantage score. So deduct about 45 points, and that's where you're going to be to buy a home. When you're buying a home, your mortgage loan officer is pulling a FICO 2, 4, and 5. So it's a different algorithm according to what, according to your bigger purchase that you're making per se. So if you're looking at other apps, people don't understand that there's over 60 different FICO score models out there. So if you're looking at Wells Fargo, that's your score according to them. If you're looking at Capital One, that's your score according to them. Um, if you're looking at Discover, that's your score according to them. So once people understand that this is my score according to whom, you don't get fixated on, I have an 800 score, I have a 750 score, when it's really you do according to this one algorithm that this particular person's pulling from. So when your mortgage loan officer looks at your credit and they see that you have a lower score than what you think in your mind, don't get mad at them. It's the algorithm that they're required to use to qualify you for that home. But you can have charge-offs on your credit report and still buy a home. You can have certain collections up to a certain dollar amount and still buy a home. It all depends on how old is the debt, how much do you owe, and if you have enough room in your debt to income ratio to qualify for the home that you're purchasing. We do not do loans, so we don't have debt to income um, questions that we ask our clients because that's none of our business. What we focus on is the credit or the collections that are preventing someone from purchasing a home. Okay. But that's why they call you. Exactly. <laughs> you no, know, like don't assume you can't buy a home. Call somebody that has the right information. Just like when you're sick, you would go to the doctor, right? So right. call people and just, I mean, obviously right now they can't go into your office, but they can call you. Yes. Um, uh, so that's good to know. Do you know more or less what the FICO score needs to be for, uh, in order for you to qualify to purchase a home? So some FHAs, um, you can qualify as low as 580. Now keep in mind that 580 is your middle score. So we have three scores. We have um, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Mm -hmm. So they, your mortgage loan officer will ignore your lowest FICO score and your highest FICO score, and they base your approval um, or denial on your middle FICO score. So they do have FHA programs as low as 580. I've heard some mortgage loan officers offering even lower than that. I've, heard, I've even heard 520, but I don't quote me on that. Um, I believe that VA loans are at a 620. Um, USDA, I think, is 640, but again, don't quote me. And then they have conventional loans as low as, as, low as 620. And if you need down payment assistance, which is the Cal FHA, it starts at 660. Now, again, full disclosure, I am not a loan officer. I do not do loans. So I just know what the loan officers are looking for. Please reach out to your local loan officer to get more valuable information when it comes to that. Right. Okay. Um, what was my, my next question? So, um, so basically, if you are still in the process of purchasing a home, don't just disqualify it. Maybe call somebody, like call you, call your loan officer, call your realtor and see if you qualify. Um, and maybe, I don't know, cause we were talking about this the other day and we were just saying that people want to wait until, um, until they, you know, when the, for the market to go down. But again, we don't know if that's really going to happen. We don't know this could end next week. It could end next year. I mean, we really don't know. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just better for you to be prepared. Um, and um, just, I mean, 
I, for myself, I wouldn't want my credit to go down just because you really need that even just to get right. a credit card. And as a business owner, we know how uh, essential it is to have good credit because yes. then you can't get a business loan. Um, you can't buy supplies and you can't keep going and growing your business. I mean, as a business person, I think exactly. um, that makes sense for us. But also I think as a homeowner, you should really like keep looking at your credit um, mm -hmm. Even if you feel like you, you, you don't need it now, um, it's probably a good, I mean, I would think it's a good way to just, I mean, a good option to just always have your options open and always have a good credit. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Of course. Of course. It's always, I mean, good credit is the best thing, right? You can buy a car at 1.9 APR. You can buy a car at 3% APR. I have some clients who walk in here and my heart goes out to them because they're paying 21% interest on a car loan. They're getting these crazy payday loans at 130%. What? Yes. <laughs> Why would you yes. do that? Oh my gosh. Because, well, because a lot of people, they don't know how to, they, they're focused on the immediate need. I need $2,500 now. They're not focused on I'm going to pay back $367 for 48 months, which equals I'm paying back $16,500. Wow. So that, and that's the problem is that Americans or anyone in general, we focus on the immediate need. I need that $2,500 now. I'll deal with the rest later. But we're really big on educating people on how to do simple math to avoid big financial mistakes like that. Because once you can whip out your calculator, even on your phone, and just calculate it out really quickly, it gives you a better opportunity to stand up and say no, or I'm going to go ahead and move forward with it. I understand what I'm getting into. Yeah. So with people losing their jobs right now, um, and since we're talking about credit, uh, do you think that they should still, I mean, I think you already touched a little bit on it as far as if they're renting and if they're having a home, um, should they still be like working on their credit? Cause you said you don't have to have a really high FICO score to purchase a home, but then again, right. their interest rate might not be that great. Mm -hmm. Um, what would be your suggestion? Um, or maybe like some tips that you can give them that people that are just, just stop paying bills all of a sudden. What would be so your if you if you find yourself in a position where you just cannot afford to pay your bills right now, maybe you're paying a thousand dollars a month in credit card bills, which some people are. Um, there are debt consolidation companies out there. The one I really love and recommend because they are a nonprofit is debt counselingcorp.org. So what they'll do is any cards, any credit cards that you turn into them, they cannot be in collections. They cannot have charged off yet. Okay. Um, but any card you turn into them, they will either drastically reduce or completely eliminate your interest. And they'll have you pay the majority towards the principal. Any card you turn into them, they will shut down. So that's going to hit you about 50 points on your credit. But they keep making your payments for you on time every month. And you'll be debt free in three to five years, depending on how much debt you owe. So that's always a great plan B if you can't afford your credit cards right now. Back in 2012, um, I had lost my job and I personally went through them. And I went from $760 a month down to 218. In five years, I was paid off and my credit was perfect. So, and there's a big difference between debt consolidation and debt settlement. Debt settlement companies, on the other hand, they hurt your credit, they don't help your credit. What they do is the minute you begin paying them, they stop paying all of your creditors and then they allow you to go and default and go into collections and it does not stop anyone from taking you to court. So you have to be very, very careful with debt settlement companies. You always want to ask the right questions. Are you going to be making my payments on time? Am I still going to be receiving invoices from my creditors showing proof that you're um, applying my payments 
to my debt or are you going to wait for my funds to accumulate for you to make a settlement offer? If they say that's what they're going to do, don't do it. it. They will hurt your credit so badly. Yeah, that was actually my, my question that I had for you. Um, how much of it does it hurt your credit? Uh, but with the company that you referred to, you're saying that they only it only affects your credit 50 points, which is really not that much. I mean, if you don't pay your mortgage or your, your rent or even your credit card, it actually hurts even more. So 50 points exactly. doesn't really seem like a whole lot, right? Um, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Aliva. Um, do you have any more tips that you might want to, because I think this is like a lot of information already. And if anybody yeah. has any more questions, I mean, they have to call you. Right. Um, and um, anything else? I know you guys have been protecting yourself from COVID-19, from yes. like staying home. And um, thank God you guys are able to do that. Um, and if they were to reach you, they can reach you at your Visalia office and then also your, your Fresno office. What if somebody needs to drop anything off can, and if they can just email it? Because I mean, I mean, some people don't know how to use email. I know that. Right. Um, yeah. How can they still drop uh, papers off to you? And so both locations safe? have a slot right next to the front door that they could just stick everything through. Okay. Okay, so great. they can either um, scan it, email it, fax it. Um, they could drop it off. We do have clients that are out of state and they just put everything in the mail like once a month and they mail it out to us. Don't lick it though. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't lick, lick the envelope. <laughs> put tape on it. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I just get a wet napkin and I wet and I get it yeah, wet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do that too or I'll put tape on it, but sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so they can mail it. That's yes. one. Um, yeah. Yeah. So they don't even have to leave their house, really. They don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Some people even take a picture with their cell phone and just email it to us that way, too. Okay. Perfect. Yay. I'm so excited that I got a chance to talk to you about credit. Um, yes. I know there's certain things that we just don't know, and, and I'm so grateful that you're here and you're providing our community with great credit. Um, great information. I mean, this information that we just talked about, like, I don't know how long we've been, we've been on this call for like 20, 30 minutes. Um, it's really, really important. It's not mm -hmm. just in the time of crisis, but all the time, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Aldiva. Uh, anything else that you want to share before we, we, um, we close it off? Yeah, so we are a trilingual company. We speak Spanish, we speak Portuguese. Um, if anyone out there, your family or friends, if they have ITIN numbers and not social security numbers, we do specialize in ITIN credit repair. So we could do that for them as well. Okay, that was my next question. I totally forgot. That was mm -hmm. my next question um, because when I did taxes, we use the I-10 and that's for people who don't actually have a social security number. They Correct. use the I-10 in order for them to do their taxes. So, mm -hmm. so, cause I know we used to use it to do their taxes. So how does that help them with their credit? If they were ever to become uh, legal citizens, um, mm -hmm. I don't know how that works. So can you maybe like explain a little bit for people yeah, that so, might not know, like me? <laughs> so, <laughs> when you have an ITIN number, um, you're not supposed to work under that number, but you can file taxes under that number. You can get credit under that number. Um, in fact, Self-Help Credit Union in uh, Porterville, California, and I believe there's one in Fresno too, they do, um, they do secured credit cards, they do car loans. They do regular credit cards for clients with I-10. There's a lot of loan officers out there that will do I-10 mortgage loans. So you can purchase a home with an I-10. Um, some people, they require 10% down with 5% towards closing costs. Some people require 20% down. And I think I've heard that some people require 30% down. So you really need to investigate and find out what what programs are out there for you. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that are, that are I-10 people, they, they, um, and they're homeowners, 
And so it is a possibility. So don't think just because you have an I-10, you can't buy a home because yes, you can. Si se puede. <laughs> si se puede. <laughs> so, um, so is it, so I guess they're, um, they're, oh my God, their, their rates, their interest rates would be higher. Is it because they're kind of like a high risk because they're not actually like citizens? You think? I don't I mean, know. I know they're not a loan officer, but. Yeah, I don't know about the rates. I don't know if they're higher or not. I know that some loan officers, or not loan officers, but some loan programs do require PMI, which is the um, property mortgage insurance, and some do not. So it just depends. I mean, like I have PMI on my loan, which is off February of next year. Thank God. <laughs> but <laughs> but that's $167 a month that I'm gifting away to the government. That I get yeah. to put back in my pocket next year. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, everyone's different and, and they really need to do their homework and interview who they're going to go with. Yeah. And I think right now in a time of crisis um, and, and just in general, really, but especially now in a time of crisis, since we don't know uh, when we're going to go back to work. Uh, some of us are laid off. Um, some of us aren't, some of us are still working, but, um, or working from home like me, I'm working from home. I'm in my kitchen right now, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but my guys are out there cause they have to be out there. We do kitchen and bathroom remodels. People don't have kitchens and we need, they right. need to have kitchens right now. Um, yes. but, um, I know some people are being laid off, uh, or working from home and it, it, and losing their jobs. So I think it's important to just, you know, um, keep that in mind to always have, good credit regardless because if you don't have good credit like Aliva just explained you could possibly still open a credit card a few credit cards um mm -hmm. but then your interest rate is what's going to kill you yeah really um so just keep that in mind you may still be able to get that car you may still be able to get that house but your interest rate is really what's going to kill you in the long mm -hmm. run. So just keep that in mind. And then also live within your means, you know, mm -hmm. don't get a million dollar home or $2 million home, even if you think you can afford it now. But what about in a year from now? We don't know what's going to happen with the mm -hmm. economy, unfortunately. So just live within your means and just be aware of like, um, that, you know, things might happen. I mean, I'm praying to God every day that everything goes back to normal, but what if it doesn't? It's such mm -hmm. an uncertainty, but, um, you know, continue to purchase homes, continue yes. to support small businesses, because if you don't support small businesses like mine and Ali's, we're, you know, it, the economy is just not going to prevail. Cause if I, I think it's like what, 80%, um, uh, of, of employees right now are they're are they're employed through a small business is mm -hmm. it i think it's 80 percent i'm i haven't even done i haven't researched that for a while but um a lot of our economy comes from small businesses so just keep that in mind um try not to be afraid if everybody's afraid and they're hoarding their money like they're hoarding toilet paper right. <laughs> I, had to, I had to say it <laughs> <laughs> um, they're hoarding their money like they're hoarding toilet paper the economy is, is not going to grow and right. a lot of us especially small businesses we need the support from our local community and from each other so you know don't be afraid buy your yep. home um hire Allie to help you with um with any credit repair needs and obviously hire us if you have a leaky bathroom or leaky mm -hmm. toilet you know, we're still available if you need something like that. We're obviously keeping restrictions and you can go to my website to find out what we're doing for COVID-19. Um, but just be aware uh, of what's going on right now. And just like I said, live within your means and always have a budget for any remodel. And we, we do that. We, I, I work with my clients um, on a budget. My little dog, he's Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, but even speaking of budgets, I'm glad you threw out the B word because a lot of people don't realize if you know, like, let's say you're paying $1,200 a month rent right now and that's comfortable for you. Tell your loan officer, I'm comfortable paying $1,200 a month because 
if maybe you qualify for a four hundred thousand dollar home but that three thousand dollar a month payment isn't comfortable they will get you approved where you're comfortable but you need to be forthcoming with them don't get excited about a home that's four hundred thousand when you can only afford a home that's two hundred fifty thousand right you know really go out and get pre-approved by your local loan officer i say local because they are the ones in the valley they are the ones that know what's going on currently they are your power team and they will help you so go meet with a local loan officer see what you qualify for based on your debt to income ratio and everything else that they look at and then you already know if i want to keep a twelve hundred dollar a month payment i can only purchase a home for this much money and there you go then you tell your realtor i'm approved for this much you go house shopping and they get to become your vanna white and go Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> right well, I'm going to have to let you go because I forgot to charge my laptop and it's giving me a little battery. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get like cut off. But, it's okay. Um, but no, thank you so much, Allie, uh, for all the information and for helping your community and everything that you're doing, especially now and during these hard times. Yes. Um, and I just pray that you continue to, you know, have your employees and that they are not laid off because obviously we all need to work. Yes. Um, we were born beautiful, but not rich. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, <I'm> just <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but we have to work, unfortunately. But yeah, um, no, thank you, Ali. And uh, I'll, we'll keep in touch. Maybe of we'll course. do another Zoom call um, later as time progresses and see what happens. Even yeah. next week, every week it's different. So um, just stay safe out there, guys. And you too. stay safe and stay healthy. Yes, please. Okay. Stay safe Thank you, and Ellie. Thank you Thank so you. much. You have a good day. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.